Hi, my name is Hasneen and I'm going to show you how to create a constraint voxel using voxel math. In this example we'll create a voxel with a fault, a basement unit, and a lens unit, each of which will have different weighting values. We'll begin by creating a master voxel which will form the basis for our constraint voxel. Navigate to 3D, Voxel Utilities, Create Master Voxel. You'll be prompted to assign a voxel name and to specify the dimensions of your voxel. You should also specify a voxel value, which is your weighting value. Clicking OK will display the Modify Voxel Properties dialog, where you can enter cell dimensions and origin information. Click OK to display the Voxel Properties dialog. Click Exit to create your master voxel. Your master voxel is now displayed. To create a fault, we go to 3D, Voxel Utilities, Voxel Math. We enter the formula for a linear function that divides our voxel along a fault plane and assigns a new weighting value. We enter the formula for a linear function that divides our voxel along a fault plane and assigns a new weighting value to the unit below the fault. The original weighting above the fault will be retained. Our original master voxel is assigned as the input voxel and we assign a new name for the output. Clicking OK produces a new voxel with two units separated by a fault plane. To insert a basement, we open voxel math again and insert a simple math expression that adds a basement unit of a different weighting below a set elevation. Our previous voxel becomes the input voxel and a new name is assigned to the output. Clicking OK produces a new voxel that retains the fault but now includes a basement unit. Finally, we'll add a lens using a standard ellipse function. Once again, our previous output becomes our input voxel and we assign a new name for the new output. Clicking OK produces our final output voxel. This is the new constraint voxel. The final step is to georeference our model to real-world coordinates. We navigate to 3D, Voxel Properties, select our constraint voxel and click Next. Select Modify and assign a real X and Y origin. Click on Chord Sys to assign projection information. Clicking OK adds the projection to the voxel. Clicking OK and Exit closes the dialog. You now have a geo-referenced constraint voxel.